Movement and rhythm. What is movement and rhythm, and why is it important? Movement, the path the viewer's eye takes through a work of art, can be directed along lines, edges, shapes, and color. Look at the movements shown in these pieces. Rhythm, created when one or more of the elements are used repeatedly to create a feeling of movement, creates a mood like music or dancing. Vincent van Gogh, Dutch painter, 1853 to 1890. A post-impressionist, one of the most influential figures in the history of Western art. The picture on the left is a self-portrait. Note his style. Can you see how the brush strokes create rhythm and movement? You probably know this famous artwork of his. The Starry Night. Isn't it beautifully done? Our work today. Vincent van Gogh inspired sunflowers. Focus is movement and rhythm. Use whatever colors you have available. For example, paint, twisties, crayons, etc. Step one, the starry night inspired background. This is our starry night inspired background. So as you can see, I have done lots of different blues, lots of beautiful different brush strokes in there. I just love the tones from this, all the, the shades and the tints, the dark blues, the light blues. Um, and the contrast between the yellows and the blues. So this is what I would like you to do today. If you have paint, wonderful, try your best. If you don't, I have another little video coming up. Okay, so Van Gogh's lines are made up of different lines, okay? So he makes it much more fluid. So with your twisty, what you can do is use lines and connect them together to make it look more like movement. So as you can see here, that looks like it's going around like that. Okay, so you can use your twisty for this. It might take a really long time with twisty. So what you may do is you can do a smaller piece as opposed to doing an A4 piece. You can do a smaller piece if you're using twisty because it will take longer um, than if you um, using a paintbrush and some paints. And if you would like to as well, what you can do is just do blocks of color for your background, okay? So you don't have to just do tiny little lines. Okay, so with your twisties, you can also just do bigger shapes and then just make them go around. The point of this exercise is to focus on movement, okay? Showing movement um, where... Here we go. So showing movement using the color, okay? So this might be a better way if you um, don't want to do the tiny little strokes. This does look better. Okay, so you can see the more movement in here. There's more lines. It's more busy. This would be more of a design than anything else. Um, it's still quite cool, but it doesn't have the same effect. Okay, so you can choose the way that you want to do your um, artwork. It's completely up to you. That is different. To that which is different to that which is also different to this so just do your best to try and get the movement that's all i'm looking for today boys just try your best um i do think this can be very beautiful um if you put in the work for it and then obviously this is also really nice just remember you're using different tones so you're using um light blues dark blues um a little bit of white I haven't used any black in here. You can if you would like to. And then I put some yellow in the middle here just to um, add contrast as well. Once you've finished your background, you can start the sunflower. This is my sunflower. So something that Van Gogh is known for is his sunflowers. Actually, some of his sunflower pieces feature on stamps. So I have done yellow with a little bit of orange and then I've just added in this movement, this texture in here. I'm just flicking my paintbrush. So I've gone from dark to light and then I've just flicked my paintbrush. You can do your sunflower however you'd like. And once you've done this, cut it out, please, because we are going to stick it onto our background. Time to put it all together. Right, so now I've got my background and I have my sunflower. I think I like, so I like it like this, peeking out. I like the sunflower going a little bit off the page and I like being able to see these little things coming there. Now, my stem doesn't go completely off the page, but that's absolutely fine. I can add some leaves in, um, maybe three leaves, just to come and cover there, as well as give it a little bit uh, more flow, so that would make it um, go a little bit more like that. That would be really nice. So, 
before you stick it down just place it on see where you like it and then if um if you're happy stick it down i'd i'd suggest adding some leaves here i will um, upload a photo to the general folder with my leaves and that is our starry night inspired sunflower i hope you enjoy the lesson and have a wonderful day